So we begin our practice, feet flat onto the mat, hands down by the side of the body, and we start with the shoulders. So lift the arms up, taking the arms all the way up, stretching away, feel the stretch in the abdomen, in the armpits. If your hands do not meet the floor, do not worry, just take them wider maybe, and then they'll reach the floor. Or have any blocks you may want underneath those hands to bring the floor to you. And then bring the arms all the way back down by the side of the body. I'm going to do that really slow. Inhale, lengthen. Feel the breath. Feel the movement. Just really stretching up. It's a beautiful day. Exhale all the way down. Let's do two more. Inhale, rising up. Exhale down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale down. Bring both knees into your chest. Have a little roll around on the lower back. And then see me now. Okay, just checking. Hands down by the side of the body. We're moving into the hamstrings. Legs up to the ceiling. Hold on to the back of the thighs if your hamstrings are tight. Your thighs will ask you to do this. Toes to nose, heels to ceiling. Nice stretch in the hamstrings, holding on to the back of the thighs if you need to. Hands down by the side of the body if you don't. And then knees into chest. And again, lengthen up. Point your toes to your nose and the heels to the ceiling to get the ankle and the Achilles stretch. Knees to chest. And one more, lengthen up, toes to nose, heels to ceiling, and we stretch. And then bring the knees back into the chest. So arms and legs simultaneously together. Arms up and over, legs up, toes to nose, heels to ceiling. Exhale, knees to chest, hands down by the side of the body. Let's flow. Inhaling, toes to nose, heels to ceiling. Exhaling. Three more, just waking up the body. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and let's do one more. Inhale, mouth is closed in yoga. If you can, you're breathing through the nostrils. Exhale, knees to chest, hands round the knees, rock and roll. Feet flat onto the mat. Stretch both legs long. Have a little wiggle around on the buttocks to settle the spine down towards the mat. Body coordination. Your left leg rises and your right arm rises. Bringing the fingertips all the way back towards the floor if you can. Exhale, left leg lowers, right arm lowers. The leg wants to go quicker, slow it down. Right leg, left arm rising up. Really starting to work a little bit into the abdominals. Exhale, slow that right leg down, bringing the heels and the fingers to the mat at the same time. Left leg, right arm. And again, we slow that leg down, draw the navel to the spine, heels and fingers approaching the mat at the same time. Right leg, left arm. Exhaling, so it's really nice abdominal exercise, which will not, we're just flowing into this movement that we've created. And it's really good for the abdominals because the neck is not involved at all. So just slowly flowing into this. Now, some of you will continue with that. And some of you will not let the feet or the hands reach the mat. It's a lot stronger. If your back arches too much, go back to this practice. If you're coming with me, we're just going to float those arms and legs all the way across the body. Draw the navel to the spine. Please, if your back arches too much, either bend your knees or go back to the original. You should start to feel it round about now. 
So just keep going. If it feels good, carry on. Couple more breaths, right to the abs, but the neck is not involved. So draw the nail to the spine. And last one, knees to chest. Rock and roll. Open the arms nice and wide as if you're on a cross. Take an inhale and an exhale. Now hover the knees to the right. Just hover them above the mat. We're right into the external obliques. Inhale back to the center and exhale over to the left. So when the sun comes out, we all want nice tight abs. That's the first thing we think about. Ooh, nice tight abs for those summer days. And let's just work into the abdominals. And we flow into this practice. I'm going to do one more each side. I'm going to change it a little bit and incorporate the hips. So you may want to have a watch first. You're going to hover to the right and then that top leg will straighten. And then we'll swing it over to the other side, bending the knees when we arrive. So top leg straightens, big circle, bend the knees when we arrive. So just feeling this in the hips. And in the abs. I don't worry if you get wrong, it doesn't matter. As long as we're moving, flowing, just enjoying the body. One more. Finish on the left, and then we come back, knees into chest, and we rock and roll. Okay, let's have our belts. So finding your belts. Sorry guys, I should have told you to have them ready. Oh, we just have to move a little bit more to get them. Okay, feet flat. I'm hoping you've got them. Belt around the ball of the right foot. We're gonna stretch that leg up. So you may have to have that leg a little bit further away so the leg is straight, but the back of the knees are not locked. Hold on to the belt with your right hand. Now the left leg is going to go nice and long on the mat. Heel on the mat, toes facing to the ceiling, both legs in identical positions. Left hand on left thigh to keep that left buttock down, toes towards the body. Take an inhale here and exhale the leg out to the right. Keep the left buttock down, feel those inner thighs, those adductors. Perhaps push the heel away, it'll feel a lot deeper here if you push the heel away. And then subtle bend of the knee, we're coming back to the center. You'll change hands on the belt, and we want that right buttock to lift. So lift right off the mat while the right shoulder tries to stay on the mat. And we stretch the right arm away from us. And we really feel this in the buttocks and the glutes. Your glutes are your hip flexors as well. Subtle bend of the knee, we come back to the center. Both hands on the belt now. Leg is straight, whether it's further away from you or closer to you, it's straight without locking the knee. Take an inhale, those with no neck issues. Tuck your chin in, take an exhale, and then inhale, lift up the head, only a short way, because we want the hamstrings and hips to work. And then we draw that left, right leg towards us. And then lift the shoulders too high, it's more about the hamstrings here. And then we we'll release the head down, bend the knee, give it a good squeeze, place it foot flat onto the mat and the other foot flat onto the mat. And then we'll take that belt, same flow, left leg straight up to the ceiling. We decide where we're going to have it for it to be straight. Either closer to us or further away, the knee is not locked out. Take hold of the belt with your left hand. 
Stretch your right leg long on the mat. Both sets of toes pointing towards the body. Feel the activation of that right leg as well. You place your hand right at the top of your thigh where your thigh meets your pelvis. This is a great hip flexor, so you can really feel this. Those who with really, really tight hamstrings, if you have this legs in this position in an open doorway, it sounds really strange, but you'll know what I mean when you do it. It's a great relaxing posture and really will open up your hips. So one point, leg goes up the side of the door, the door would be open obviously, and then we are stretching up. Take an inhale and exhale, out to the left. Nice easy breathing. And again, if you push the heels away, see the reaction you get in those inner thighs. Full awareness. Subtle bend of that knee, we're coming back to the center, we're changing hands on the belt. I'm gonna roll that left buttock off the mat, all the way over, stretch the left arm away from us. Feel that beautiful stretch in those glutes, those hip flexors. And then a subtle bend of the knee, we're coming back to the hamstrings. So again, both legs straight, either further away from you or closer to you. Both hands on the belt, no neck issues. We're going to take an inhale, tuck the chin on the exhale, and then on the inhale, lift the shoulders up and draw that straight leg towards your nose. Do not lift up your shoulders too high. Let me get into the hamstring. And then release the head down. Remove the belts. Bring both knees into the chest and rock and roll. The feet are flat, one at a time. The arms are wide as if you're on a cross. Take an inhale and exhale. Turn your head to the right. Inhale back to the center and turn your head to the left. So bringing awareness all the time into the body, back to the center and then hands down by the side of the body. We're gonna roll over to our side. We're coming into all fours. So hands are directly underneath the shoulders. We all know this one. Knees are directly underneath the hips. Gonna inhale the gaze up, buttocks up. Nice little back bend. On the exhale, rounding your back. Gaze at your navel, nice back stretch. And carry on, inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, rounding. Two more, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. We come back to a neutral position. You will put your knees for a little while, so take this opportunity to grab a cushion if you need to underneath your knees. We're going to take our right arm up to the ceiling, stretch it up, and bring it down. Some of you will stay with just that gentle flow. And some of you will take the hand underneath, lay the side of the head down, lay the right arm down, and draw your navel to the side. Some of you will stay here, and some of you will take your left arm up to the ceiling, wrap it right round your back, take an inhale and an exhale, and then on the next inhale, lift up your heart, Exhale into a deeper twist. And if you've taken that posture, your left arm is rising to the ceiling. We bring it back down onto the mat and we bring ourselves back into all fours. <coughs> and exactly the same with the opposite arm, so we can just stay with a little gentle flow if we want to. Or we lift up, we thread through, side of the head down. 
We settle here, draw the navel to the spine. And perhaps the right arm lifts up and wraps round our back. We take an inhale and an exhale, and then inhale, lift up the heart. On the exhale, you have the spinal rotation. And then the right arm rises up, place it on the mat, and rise back up into all fours. Nice, easy breathing. So continuing into the shoulders, let's just bring the elbows down. Draw the navel to the spine. Great interesting posture to know that sometimes we just let our belly go. So we want to draw that navel softly to the spine. And either stay here or have a block underneath your head. Or go that little bit deeper. Walk your arms forward, forehead on a block or on the mat. Feel the stretch in the upper back and the upper shoulders. And if you want it to be more intense, simply lift up the wrist and come onto your fingertips. And this will be a lot more intense. And if you've taken the more intense posture, just let the hands rest now. And we'll walk the hands all the way back. We're finding child posture. Open the knees this time and let the belly fall through. So it's a nice groin stretch. Arms are still long or can be underneath your forehead if it's too intense. And some of you may drop the heart down to the earth. And then slowly we'll walk the hand all the way back. So moving into another kneeling position. So Christians at the ready. We're going to take the right foot forward, knee tracking over the ankle. We're going to tuck that back toe under and bring that back knee in line with the back hip. And then we're going to rise up. And this time we're going to soften the shoulders down. Just really, they tend to be up here a lot. Let's soften them down. Again, abdominals focus. We're drawing the navel to the spine. Inhale is the rise. And exhale, release. Don't worry if you don't come all the way up. Whatever's appropriate to you without pain. We're focusing on the breath. You can feel this left psoas muscle working as well. We're going to work it a little bit harder if you want to. So inhale is the rise. And exhale, release. We're going to take it to a back bend if you want to. Keep your toe at the back tucked. Inhale, lift. Take an exhale. And inhale, rolling into a back bend. So just imagine you're rolling over a bow. Now feel what's happening in the left front thigh. And then inhale back to the center. Exhale, the hands down. We simply change sides. The knee tracks over the ankle. The back toe is tucked, the back knee underneath the hip. Inhale is the rise, and exhale is the slide. Focus. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Back bend coming if you wanted to. Inhale, lift, take an exhale. Inhale, lift the heart, rolling over the imaginary barrel, feeling the right front hip flexors now, and the back bend. Take an inhale, gazes forward. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Return to child posture. Let the breath settle. We're coming back into all fours. We're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees, and exhale into downward facing dog stretch. 
So bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Those who have shoulder issues, you can always have the elbows on the mat and do a dolphin. So just decide which is best for you today. We're just going to work into those hamstrings that have been warmed up. We're going to walk our dogs. Really enjoy. And then we're going to move our hips. Really stretching out those work we've done on the abdominals already. Nice, easy breathing. And then we're going to come back to child posture. The next flow will be half plank and down dog. So super long arms, stretch the armpits, anchor the hands to the mat, onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and we're exhaling to down the facing dog. Come onto your tippy toes, float the shoulders over the wrist, bring the knees down, lift up the ankles and cross them. The half plank. Draw the knee navel to the spine. And then toes on the mat, we lift up back to down dog. So shoulder issues. Anybody who doesn't want to do the full plank, I'm going to do it again. So inhale into your plank, shoulders over wrist, knees down. Engage the core, lift up the ankles, half plank. So there's not so much pressure on the shoulders. Keep focus on the abdominals, tuck the toes, back to down dog. Fantastic. So now we're going to go into that full plank. So inhale into your plank or half plank, push the heels away. So push the heels away as soon as you arrive and gaze at the mat. And then exhale back into down dog. Inhale back into the plank or half plank, push the heels away, gaze at the mat. Exhale back to down facing dog. Two more. Inhale into plank, push the heels away, activate those hip flexors, the glutes. Exhale to dog. And last one. Plank or half plank. Exhale back to dog. Both knees on the mat, return to child posture. Separate the knees again. This time everybody bring your hands underneath your forehead and settle for your breath. So we are going to do a couple of sun salutations. So draw the knees together. Super long arms onto the knees. Tuck the toes, lift up. Exhale, dog. Let's take a walk forward. Bending the knees. And then inhale, rising all the way up. And exhale back. So the sun style we're going to do are Ashtanga style. Remember, you can do the half plank. So first we stand in Tadasana. Some city is known in Ashtanga. We settle the breath. And then we inhale the arms up to the shoulders, turn the palms to the ceiling on the journey up. And exhale back down to the side of the body. So inhale up to the shoulders, turn the palms as we rise up. Don't gaze up, gaze is neutral, no back bend. One more, inhale, lift up. And exhale. Next time we do this, we're going to flow down to the mat. You will bend your knees. Inhale, lift up. On the exhale, bend your knees. Bricks can be in front of your hands. Take a bow. With bent knees. Now straighten the legs and look forward. You may have your hands on bricks. You may have your hands on your shins. The legs are straight. The back is straight. And the head is bowed. 
Now everybody bend the knees, hands flat, we walk back to plank or half plank. Push the heels away from him, full plank, draw the navel in, both postures. Knees down, belly down, elbows in, rising through the cobra back bend, onto the knees, we tuck the toes, we lift up and we exhale into down facing dog. At this stage, you can come into child posture if you want to, dolphin if you want to. A couple of breaths here. I feel the full body stretch all along the back of the body, the back of the legs and the spine. The arms are strong. And then we'll take a walk forward. When we arrive, we'll have a spinal extension. So hands on shins or blocks or on the mat. Legs are straight, spine is straight. Gaze is looking forward. Bend the knees, engage the core. Inhale, rise up, stretch up. And exhale back to summit city. Two more if you want to, or just watch and get your breath focused. The inhale is the lift. We bend our knees, exhale. We straighten the leg, hands on blocks or hands on shins or hands on mat. Exhale, take your bow. Bending your knees back issues all of the time. Bend the knees to place the hands on the mat and walk back into plank. Push the heels away. Half plank can be appropriate. Lay the whole belly down. Elbows in. Rising through the cobra. Feel the stretch of the belly. Feel the back bend onto the knees. Pop into child if you want to or exhale into down dog. Back here for a couple of breaths. Head is hanging between the upper arms. Navel drawing to the spine, heels approaching the mat, and we breathe. Let's take a walk forward. As soon as we arrive, spine of extension, shins, mat, or blocks, straight legs, straight spine, gaze further forward. On the exhale, we'll take that bow. Bend your knees, engage your core, inhale is the rise. And exhale back to sun sitting. One more. Inhale. No instructions now, just breath. Exhale. Inhale, spinal. Exhale, plank. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale is the rise. Exhale is the dog. Settle the hands, settle the feet. Take the walk forward. Spinal extension. Exhale, take your bow. Bend your knees, engage your core, inhale is the rise. And exhale back to your sun You need to touch your hands. Okay, let's have some balance for the core. And some strengthening arm movements. So isometric on the arms. Arms up, soften the shoulders. So we want to have these arm muscles nice and strong. Shoulders. We just soften here. So now again, draw your attention to your navel. Draw the navel in. You should start to be feeling it in the arms a little bit now. It's just your own pure body weight working into these arms. So you turn the palms to the ceiling. And the thumb points a little bit further back. Can you feel it? I'm hoping you can. And then turn the palms down. 
Soften the shoulders away from the ears. The navel is still drawing in. Think about summer frocks and t-shirts for the men. Strong arms. Turn the palms up. Turn the palms down. Turn the palms up. Turn the palms down. Two more. Up and down. Navel still drawing slightly back. Up and down. Inhale the arms all the way up. And exhale the prayer in front of your heart. Take your right arm all the way up. Give yourself a nice pat on the back. And just use the other arm to give yourself a deeper pat you want to. Fit it in with triceps. And then release. The left arm rises. Give yourself a pat on the back. And again, we take the other arm to assist us, give it a little bit more of a pat. And then we release. Balance. Now everybody knows my balance is not great, so if I go all squiffy, don't worry about it. Just focus on your own balance. Might grab hold of Malcolm actually. So arms are out. Soften the shoulders. So we're still working into the arms. The right toe is on the mat and it can simply stay here. Or we lift up the right knee. So just keep your focus. You need your core for this. Inhale the arms up. Take an exhale. Inhale the knee up. And then exhale, release down. Got a wall about the arms, it's all about balance. So inhale up, exhale, soften the shoulders. Opposite toe can stay here. Gaze at a fixed point. Lift up the knee, engage the core. And then inhale the arms all the way up. Take an exhale, inhale the knee up a little bit higher. And then exhale, release. Good work. So now we're just going to have a little quad stretch. So again, it's balanced. So take your left hand to your left hip and pick up your right foot behind you and draw the knees together. So draw those knees together. And then if you want to, take that left arm all the way up. That lean on you. That lean on you. <laughs> Okay, so let's try that again. <laughs> so, place your hand on the hip. You might already still be there, that's great. And I'm still going to attempt. Nice, easy breathing. And then release. I'm having that from the other side. Okay, right arm hip. Lift up the left leg. Draw the knees together. I'm absolutely out of balance today. <laughs> And then the other arm all the way up. I'm just going to watch my Okay, guys, I hope you're a lot better than we were. <laughs> okay, we're going to do my favourite in a minute, which is Utkatasana, but we're going to get that breath back again. We're going to work into the sides of the body. The feet are together. Arms are up. Turn the palms up to the ceiling. Stretch up. Let's a little balance first before we go into it. So onto your tippy toes. And stretch. Draw the heels together, squeeze the buttocks, stretch. And then release down. So your right arm rises up, your left hand stays on your thigh, and we exhale. Half moon. But try not to twist. It's a full lateral stretch. And then inhale all the way up, exhale the hands down the opposite side, lengthen up. And again, try and keep these hip bones facing forward rather than twisting. Better to be not so much in the bend and to have the hips facing forward. Then inhale up and exhale down. We're going to take it a little bit into the hips, so separate your feet. So the feet are now underneath your hips. The same posture, right arm rising, exhale sliding down. So we know this is trikonasana really, you know the triangle posture which we will shortly do. So we want this side stretch. Inhale up, 
Exhale, over. Inhale up and exhale. Feet together or apart, depending on how you feel. Arms are up. Take an inhale and exhale, take a seat. So we're going to lift up the heart and drop the tailbone down. So the tailbone goes down and the heart lifts up. We draw the navel into the spine. Gaze is neutral. If you want to take it into the shoulders, prayer posture would be appropriate. Or hands straight up to the ceiling. If you have back issues, perhaps lower your arms. This posture, as you know, works every internal organ, every muscle, and every joint. Nice, easy breathing. And inhale up and exhale down. Good work. Then take that same posture to a twist. So we're going to bring the hands in front of us. Take an inhale and exhale. Bend the knees. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Take an inhale and the exhale twist. Some of you may want to pop the hand on the floor and lift the arm up. Your choices. Keeping the knees bent. Hands come into prayer at the front, take an exhale. Inhale is the rise, and exhale is the release. Prayer posture. Take an inhale. Exhale, take a seat. Right elbow to left knee, take an inhale first, and then exhale is a twist. Bring the bottom hand to the floor if you want, and the top on the ceiling. Keeping the knees bent, take an inhale, exhale here, and then inhale, rise up, and exhale back. So you can hear my breath is a bit ragged, so I'm going to come back into the last note and settle my breath down, because otherwise it's just an exercise class and not a yoga class. So we bring the breath down, yours might be okay, but because I'm talking, mine's ragged. So inhaling through the nostrils, and exhaling through. Now remember the posture we've just practiced, which is this posture. You can stay with that one if you want to. I'm going to take you into Trikonasana. The legs are nice and wide. Both legs are straight. Arms are out. Turn your right foot a full 90 degrees. Turn the back foot in slightly. Now you can bend your knee. Take an inhale here, the legs are straight if possible, exhale to the thigh. Lift up the kneecaps and the back leg is the strong leg. We're not locking out the kneecaps at the front, the softness there. And then maybe we'll slide down a bit more, maybe. Maybe you even have a brick here, you can put a brick at the front or at the back. And then maybe we'll slide down a little bit more. But we keep the integrity of the side bends and we can bend the knee. So everything's allowed in yoga. We just listen to our bodies. Take an inhale and exhale, perhaps slide a little bit deeper. How you can be in front if you're at the floor or behind. Nice, easy breathing. No locking of the knees, softness there. And then we'll bend that knee and we'll rise all the way. So I find trikonasana quite tough. Remember, you can always have the legs a bit closer together and carry on with that one. Open legs. The left foot does the full 90 degree turn. The back foot turns in. The arms are strong. Take an inhale. Let's up to your thigh, first of all. And then you decide if you can keep the integrity of this side bend to slide a little bit more. No point in coming all the way forward to get here because it takes it into your spine. We don't want it there. We want it into the side of the body. So you may be really high, but you'll feel it here. And then we'll just slide as much as we want to. Burning up the kneecaps, not locking out the kneecaps. Front knee can be bent. And easy breathing. Placing the hands wherever it needs to be on a brick, 
on the floor, on the calf, on the thigh. And then slowly we'll rise up. Ooh, felt that one. So really felt that one. Okay, so we're going to do some nice twists in forward bends. And when we do our forward bends, we never roll forward. We come from these hip flexors. So like in Ashtanga, we have a straight back and straight legs. Okay, wide legs. Think about your hip flexors. In fact, put your hands right into the hip flexors. Yeah, yeah, roll. Take it down. And exhale, straight legs take a bow. Now you may want blocks. Blocks will bring the floor up to you. Straight back, straight legs. Take an inhale, lift up the kneecaps. And some of you will stay here if you've got back issues. You may want to stay here. Softly drawing the navel in. And to bend the knees, hands on hips, come back up again. And then from these hip flexors, we'll go back a little bit deeper if you want to. So I'm talking to that camera over there instead of talking to you. Okay, take an inhale and exhale all the way down. Bend the knees if you need to. And then aim to straighten them. And then bow. Remember, forward bends are contraindicated for sciatica. Carmel, you're not doing this unless you're doing it with completely bent knees. Nice, easy breathing. We wear the hamstrings, lift up the kneecaps. Coming up onto the fingertips, spinal extension, lengthen. Bend the knees, hands on hips, rise, nice easy breathing. Take an inhale from the hip flexors, take a forward bow. Maybe you can bend your knees. Take your right hand on the block or on the mat in front of your eyes. And lift your left arm up to the ceiling and stretch into that rotation and a hamstring stretch. Bring the hand back down to the mat. And take the right arm all the way up. Nice final rotation. Sorry to give you my backside. And exhale, but it means you can flow with me. The left arm rising up. And exhale down. Inhale is a rise. And exhale down. Options, inhale lift. And then maybe take the hand behind you. Take an inhale, exhale a little bit more into the twist. Bring the hands down. Right arm rising. Wrap the arm around the back, take an inhale and the exhale, a little bit more of a twist. And then slowly rise up and exhale forward bow. Remember, do not lock the kneecaps out. Better to have bent knees than locking those kneecaps out. But look at your knees and lift up the kneecaps. So lift up those kneecaps. Exhale bow. And then slowly fingertips to the mat, spinal extension, looking forward. Walk the feet together, bend the knees, hands on hips, we rise up. And I think it's time to come down to the mat. So we're going to come to the front of our mat. Inhale the arms all the way up. Have a nice stretch. Bend the knees, one dive. Right leg back. Left leg back, down dog. And then down to the facing dog for a moment or two. And then we'll bring the knees to the mat. Untuck the toes. Open the knees. Hands underneath the forehead and we soften. So our final sequence will be back into the abdominals. So if it's all a bit too much for you, you can always chill out in Shavasana. We're on our knees again, just for a short while. 
hands underneath, no, sorry, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. The left toe tucks, the right leg stretches, toe on the mat. Shoulder issues should stay here. We're going to lift up that right leg, not too high, better low than high, so the spine is neutral. Push the heel away as we did at the beginning. If you want to, your left hand can leave the mat. Nice, easy breathing. Think about those beach holidays. And then bring the knee down, tuck the toe, left leg, long and straight. Remember, you can stay here, shoulder issues. Lift up, engage the core, right arm stretches away. And release one more round. Right, toe on the mat, engage the core. Your gaze is always at the mat. Lift up that right leg, take away that left arm. And release. Right toe tucks, left leg, lift it up. Right arm leaves the mat if you wanted to. Maybe focusing on the abdominals. Nice spine strengthening on this one. And then release. So we're going to lay on our tummies, all the way onto our tummies. Hands underneath the forehead, and we soften. The back end, quite a few forward bends. So we're going to bring our elbows underneath the shoulder now. You're going to keep your pubic bone on the mat and lift up your heart. Just lift up the heart. So if this posture is a bit challenging for you, it may be something to do with your anatomical shape. You can always put a little um, blanket, sorry, a little something underneath the pel pelvis here, and it'll allow you to get into this posture a little bit easier. So experiment. Your feet are together if you can, or they can be apart, it doesn't really matter. But for those who are coming into, or oh, are on plank, they may want to be closer together. So we're gonna feel a nice stretch in the belly now, and we lift up the heart, and we feel the back bend as well. And then some of you will come into forearm plank. So we will gaze at the mat. We won't be lifting up the head. We'll be gazing at the mat. So the whole of the back of the body is in line. We'll tuck the toes, we lift the knees, push the heels away, and we're in forearm plank. Now squeeze those glutes, those buttocks. Draw the navel to the spine. Three more breaths. And then release. And then rise back up again, Sphinx. Whew. I've done that one for a while. Okay, toes on the mat. Gaze at the mat. Lift up the knees. Push the heels away. Squeeze the glutes. Make the legs work in this posture. Two more breaths. And then release. And you rise up into Sphinx again. Our last one, nice quick one. Toes tuck, lift up, push back, just two breaths, squeeze the buttocks, and then release. Hands underneath the forehead, soften. And then we're simply going to roll onto our backs when we begin our practice. The feet are flat onto the mat. The knees are together. We just settle here for a moment.
Take the arms wide as you draw them across. Feel free to keep the feet on the mat. We're going into a twist, so feel free to keep the feet on the mat. Or knees over chest. Take an inhale and exhale. Release the knees to the right. And take your gaze to the left. And engagement of the core, knees over the chest, or feet flat onto the mat. And exhale over to the left. And gaze to the right. And then slowly back to the center. Feet flat onto the mat. We're going to take the right leg up to the ceiling and cross the ankle over the left knee. This is our final posture before Shavasana. And this is a posture that's very beneficial for sciatica. You're going to take your right hand through the triangle that's been created, lift up the left leg and place your hands behind the thigh and draw in. You want to have the back muscles spread across the mat. So if you have sciatica, which is pain in the buttock running down through the legs, you'll certainly know you have sciatica. And sometimes it's created by two aggressive practicing forward bends. Many yoga teachers experience sciatica because they go more and more deep into forward bends. So if you do have back issues or sciatica, you need to pull away from forward bends for a while. You know you can do them. We all know it's great to get all the way down there. And sometimes our little ego takes over and that's why a lot of yoga teachers may suffer. So with awareness and letting go, bending your knees, always in forward bends if you have back issues or sciatica. Back bends are very beneficial for sciatica. And for any back issues as well. Now place the left foot flat onto the mat and the right foot onto the mat. And then we'll take the left leg up. And cross over the ankle and we'll settle here or through the triangle we've created, lift up the right leg, hands behind that right knee and we settle here. It's a great little hip opener as well. And it's the hamstring stretch. And then slowly, right foot onto the mat, left foot onto the mat. Now, you can feel free to have the feet flat onto the mat or stretch your legs long into Shavasana. And we want all the muscles and joints and bones to relax now. So we'll start with the shoulders. And feel as if the heavy weight's been taken away from the shoulders. And let the shoulders just soften and release. And then we'll work our way through the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists. And feel the energy in your fingers and thumbs. 
And just soften the arms, shoulders. And now bring your awareness to your upper back. And just soften the upper back. Mid back. And the low back. All letting go of any tension. Really releasing and softening the bones, the tissues, skin. And then bring your awareness to your chest, your heart center, your heart beating. Take your awareness to the abdominal area. You've worked in the abdominal area. You want that abdomen to soften and relax. The buttocks relax, hips and groin. Letting your tension. Ensure we're not hanging on to anything. The big thigh muscles, front and back. We let them relax. Back of the knees. Kneecaps. Calf muscles, Achilles, shin bones, ankles, top of the foot, the soles of the feet, and all of your toes. Feel the energy in your toes. Now just soften again the entire body in your awareness to the back of the neck. Temples. The eyes. The mouth and the jaw. Whole body. Drifting into peace. Soften a little bit more. We've come to the end of your practice. Just take a moment now before you rise. 